I want to show you that one application, one service which is available, which is an ML service, AI and ML based service, which is the document information extraction. And you might have taken a look if you were there in this hands on session. So, document extraction service is available, is one of the few available AI services on SAP BDP trial. What you can do here is you can come and it shows you. Uh, the ability to configure certain schemas. So I can come here, configure a certain schema. It gives me certain schemas out of the box, like OCR only schema, invoice schemas. I've created a delivery note schema, wherein I am expecting a physical document. And I, I am expecting that this physical document will have some header fields and some line item fields. The header will have a delivery note number, purchase order number, delivery date, and line items would have material number, quantity, and unit of measure. So what I did is I created this, and then I added one by one these fields. I can quickly show you how to create and then add a demo, demo schema. No space. Then what type it is it could be any one of these out of the way box but it could be a custom document also uh, and i can create under demo schema i can go ahead and add my header fields let's say whatever i have and then i have the line item fields i can add and then i can activate once activated i get it in the active state so this is what i have already created once you have it created, you can come back to your documents and you can upload a certain document. So if you could come here, I would like to use this schema I just created, which is a custom schema, which is a delivery note schema. So I select that and let me upload a document that I would like to read with the help of uh, with the help of AI and ML or ML tool that which is basically an LLM available by SAP. So it allows you to upload an image, which I have you know, downloaded from web. I can quickly show you what it looks like. So this is basically a, a delivery note uh, with some header details and then some information, some materials, line items, and all that, right? So I have uploaded that document. I go to step two. And I verify once that what are my header fields. Step three, I verify that what are my line item fields. I review. It says, okay, these are your last details. You can check. And then I say confirm. Okay, so it starts uploading and analyzing the document. And once it is ready here, you could go ahead and check the details so it is uploaded here and if you see here it has identified the date the purchase order number whatever i had configured in the header and the delivery or no, no delivery note number so and in the line item it has identified the material number the quantity and the unit of measure so it has identified the header and the line item numbers if I would like to go ahead and see the what data it has extracted from this document, is that on header level it has extracted these details and line item, they extracted three line items, two and three. Right. You got you also get the confidence which comes from with any AI and ML based model that it is confident 51 to 79 percent or 80 to 100 percent that you know this extraction is correctly done. So that is a simple uh, service available if you would like to uh, implement a document automatic document data extraction or OCR optical extraction uh, of physical documents. This is what it does. Yeah, it also has an API uh, with it. So if you would like to integrate this in a custom application, that is also possible. That is a quick walkthrough on the document information extraction service, which is an ML AI ML based service. Any questions here?
so Jay, if we need to edit or anything which we need to do, we have to just make it in the line item level only here. I mean, as in you want to edit the structure itself? Yeah. Um, no, you can yeah, you can do that on the header also. OK. So yeah, I could able to see there uh, we can add a template or create a template. OK. Oh, yeah. Got it. Yeah. 